Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's May 15th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Dan Bingham and Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Gentlemen, thanks for being here this week. Uh, Dan, you've been watching the secondary market and some of the pricing trends. What are you seeing as uh, the market's coming back to life? You know, a uh, continuation of, of what we've really been seeing over the past few weeks here uh, with stability across the taxable fixed income markets, treasuries, corporates, largely supported um, by the Fed and the uh, efforts that the Fed took to stabilize everything in here. Um, the municipal market has had uh, now 11 days of straight performance gains as represented by MMD. And the high quality part of the market is really faring very well in here with one year MMD down to 36 basis points. Uh, the 10 year MMD um, currently scheduled or, or expected to uh, break 1% or right at the 1% level, levels we haven't seen since the disruptions really started in here. And 30-year MMD uh, is down to a 185, so continuation of, uh, of the improvements that we've seen in here. Um, but it's uh, important to emphasize that the market is really um, good, the good quality portions of the market uh, where uh, investors are perceiving the health of the credit to be stable in here are faring very well, um, but there are continuing to be some challenges out there as people uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, dig into the credit and how credits are going to fare uh, in the ongoing evolution here. And we reemphasize uh, two deals that came last week's MTA deal that came um, five and a quarter is at a 523 on the 2055 maturity. Um, and those bonds are trading up to in around the 460. So there's pretty good price improvement, but still at very distended levels. And then this week's Illinois GO deal, Illinois sold 800 million uh, state GOs with long maturity 2045s were priced five and three quarters at a 585. Again, we've seen some pretty good price activity in the secondary market down to a 540, about 45 basis point improvements there. Um, but it uh, just shows and emphasizes the uh, dichotomy between the really healthy parts of the market and some of the more challenged. And so, Chris, how did that play into the uh, what you saw in the primary market this week with demand for BAM insured paper, which is obviously higher, high quality? So we had another active week in the primary market where we, in aggregate, priced $365 million a par. Um, some of the larger transactions to, uh, to highlight are a $75 million San Leandro USD deal in California that was underwritten by Piper Sandler. And then we also had a Yavapai County Jail District transaction in Arizona, which had an underlying rating in the AA category. So even with that AA rating, it uh, had a very solid reception in the market. And there were also two larger Illinois transactions, one for the Chicago Heights ULTGO that was underwritten by Stiefel, that was around $40 million, and also the Revis High School District with R.W. Baird for $44 million in par. So, Chris, uh, after this week's uh, heavy new issuance flow, next week's primary market calendar is a little bit more uh, light. Uh, there are a lot of transactions that are going to be postponed uh, into June because of uh, the upcoming Memorial Day holiday. But I know the desk is staying active on the secondary market side. What kind of activity are you seeing there? So, in the secondary, we continue to have a, continue to have a lot of dialogue with traders and portfolio managers. Some things in the market we are focusing and had a lot of dialogue on some larger state general obligation bond transactions and and positions. So we were able to be in touch with some California geo bonds that we did wrap in the secondary market for a customer. Dan, uh, just going back to one thing you said earlier, you mentioned the, the Federal Reserve support for the fixed income markets generally. The municipal liquidity facility is not yet up and running. Um, and this week we did learn, uh, we got some more details on the pricing that's likely to come there and that the Fed has made it very clear they're hoping to be a lender of last resort in this market. How important is it uh, to, uh, to supporting the buy side that this gets up and running? Sure. You know, I think it, uh, people use the term that the uh, Fed pulled out the bazooka. Um, and in certain markets, I think that's uh, it's definitely the case. In the municipal market, it's always um, it seems like it's a little bit of a um, uh, offer pricing at a level that isn't going to uh, encourage wide set, wide uh, spread support. Uh, and that's that's what we've uh, clearly seen in here. Um, the pricing is OIS uh, plus 350 for a triple B uh, rated entity. Um, and if you look at where Illinois uh, was able to access the market for long bonds, um, it isn't dissimilar to those kind of levels. But I think the, uh, uh, the issuers in this market are, have a stronger preference for accessing the market on their own credit, improving market access than necessarily going to this, uh, the Fed. 
but largely the pricing is at a level um, that market participants can access uh, market-based transactions at a much more favorable level. Great. All right. Well, thank you both uh, for joining us this week, and uh, we'll look forward to the update uh, before the holiday next week. Great. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Mike. When the market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of volatility and illiquidity, BAM-insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, including natural disasters, financial fraud, pension issues, and economic disruption, like the one we're experiencing right now. BAM. Build America Mutual. Ask your broker about BAM-insured municipal bonds.